Welcome back, everybody. The El Toro Fuerte, along with my friend, the amazing Shoto Hunt Joker. Hey! Why I oughta... Ooh, sorry, man. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I just can't seem to get your name right like everybody else these days. <laughs> if I had a... If I had a dollar for every time everyone gets it wrong, like, I could have pot of green. <laughs> but what yeah. will I do with it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what does that car do anyway? Man, I'm, I'm glad to be back. And, and that for those of you who don't know or follow us very closely, everybody seems to get Joker's name wrong. I mean, even when we tell him, Shadow Haunt Joker. We've heard Shadow Hunter, Shadow, uh, yeah, I don't even Shaquan know. Shaquan Joker, I was like, <laughs> yeah. And then there's Shadow Joker. I'm like, yeah, Shadow Joker. I'm like, just go with it. Now it's Shoto Joker. It's kind of like Hato a, no Hato. Yeah, that could be either Japanese or uh, Mexican. We can do, you do the, the Mexican. Shoto. I'm not wearing a sombrero. Yeah, you know. I'll send you one. Or actually, maybe we can get Prodigy to send you one. He was in Mexico for a while. Maybe he came back once. <laughs> All right. Well, that dude, Colby, will be joining us in a little bit. Also, our friends Casually and Unfound Prodigy are out. Uh, I think Casually is on vacation. He is on vacation. I don't know why it said I think. And Unfound Prodigy is out wandering probably, uh, what, Manhattan. <laughs> Watch out for the Muppets. They take Manhattan. The Muppets take... Oh, I love that movie. That's actually one of my favorite movies of all time. The Muppets take... It Manhattan. was on last week. Was it? Yeah. I need to get those. I just need to get them. I'm just one of those people who's like, hey, I just need to buy it. Childhood mm -hmm. movies. So, anywho, we've got a fun agenda for everybody. Uh, let's do some shout-outs, though. I will definitely... I want to shout out my friend Julian. Happy birthday, my friend. He's doing an awesome. Birthday. Yeah, I think he's doing a stream tomorrow night where he's going to be doing some giveaways and, you know, Digimon this, Digimon that. So if you follow Julian, if you don't follow him, follow him. If you do follow him, tune into that live stream. I'll be there. All right. Then you have my friend, motherfucking Mark, Wrestling Mark, Mr. Wrestling Podcast. He's also expanding into a few other things. He and I have been discussing some things, and I think we're going to put together a, uh, a podcast. Maybe we break down <laughs> weekly wrestling shows because, man, jo Joker, do you watch pro wrestling at all? WWE, AEW, anything like that? Uh, I stopped after, what was his name? Seth Rollins won the title a couple of years back. Oh, yeah. And after The Undertaker no longer was wrestling. Yeah. It's a good time yeah, to stop. Roman Reigns took him out. Yeah, yeah, that's not a bad time to stop. I I kind of watch it when I can. I, I stopped subscribing to the network a while back, and I did not subscribe to Peacock for it. I don't order any of the pay per views anymore either. It just there, there's some about it. It's just gotten really bad all across the board. I'll watch a few matches here and there on YouTube, and sometimes when I can catch Raw or SmackDown, I'll catch a few matches. I mean, it, there are some entertaining guys on there. I have seen a little bit AEW, but man, for the most part, the quality has just gone down the crapper. Like, it's bad. It's become yeah. TNA? <laughs> yeah. I never thought I'd see today a wrestling program would be like TNA. Yeah. And we saw what happened to their fans and whatnot. Yeah. Severe, Ugh. severe impact there. So... Um, you can see I got a little, little bit too much sun today. I've actually uh, finally sports is over. Uh, oh, sorry. Before I get into that, your shout outs. All right. Sorry if I butcher this one. Lestat, Yu-Gi-Oh. Hey, hopefully I'll collab with you soon. Uh, Rain, hope you're doing great. Jinxie, Tracy Cakes, and my friend Adrian. I'm glad you're doing well, man. We have Boy, got dude. to do a box collaboration again. Ooh. Easy right. Mahe, once per turn, and to jobbers. Dude, I don't know how you be pulling them cards, man. Congrats to you on that pull. Epic. Awesome. Awesome. All great shout-outs, all great individuals. 
thank you man i'm i'm actually excited one one i got a shout out is ronnie over at harley's toys and comics man she had just some rotten luck with the business partner and things weren't, weren't looking too good she buckled down said you know what forget this i'm coming back and coming back stronger than ever she's getting ready to reopen her shop and i got a vip invite so you better believe i'll be there recording as much as i can and you know yeah so we're looking forward to that going forward i will be doing a ton of content for them so it'll it'll be fun it'll be a lot of fun all right joker first off how's the digimon scene looking for you lately what's been going on there right now everybody's getting ready for bt6 we're finally getting out of the BT5 area. We're finally moving on. We're finally going to get some brand new cards. And everybody's talking about running like the Three Musketeers variation. And just so I can put this out there, there is a lot of good control that we can do in that, in that set. I'm actually looking forward to running some of the black and some of the blue. Now, there's a lot of people that's already going to tell you like, Oh, well, this set has this, this set has that. I'm just going to say it has something for everyone. People that have been playing the game ever since it came out, people that want to start, it has something for everyone. And we're starting to learn about this effect called delay. Mm. Some people say it's like the equip spell, and some of it is like maybe just a one-turn stun, like an enchantment for magic. Mm. So... It's all going to be different, and I'm looking forward to it. So that sounds exciting. I'm pumped up. So I still have not purchased any of the cards or any decks yet, but I will at some point. I'm, I, I've got about probably about four or five board games that I have not yet opened. They're all perfectly run safe. blue, blue, run blue. blue. All right, all right. I'm Blue's gonna... Mystic Mind. Oh yes. Blew me up. <laughs> awesome. Well, that's good, man. Good to hear. So it sounds like there's some exciting things on the way for Digimon. And uh, look forward to hearing about you going and, and dominating the competition again, man. You did really well at the Grand Prix and hope to uh, see you build on that success. What is going on with the market right now, Joker? And we're talking Yu-Gi-Oh! market. Prices are just going nuts, man. Talk to us. I'm telling you, I haven't seen anything like this since, well, other than the Blackwing market when it first came out. I haven't seen anything this crazy since near the end of the, I'd have to say, Synchro era going into XYZ era. Well, XSEED era. I've had cards from when I opened like a case and a half of I'd say Eternity Code, Rise of the Duelist. And there were cards that were just like $2 to 6 Now I go online, look at the market. These cards are anywhere from 10 to 15 Some of them 15 to 22 I'm like, since when? And you remember the last time when we were talking about Ready Rose Dragon, it was $12. Yep. No big deal. 22 now. <laughs> I got 15 Ruddy Rose Dragons. And I'm sitting here going, you're going on, you're going on. And yeah. what gets even funnier, some of the stuff that was in Landing Overdraft that wasn't going to sell, you know, it was just going to sit in the back burner. Now you're going, it's online. Everybody in the market is starting to sell these cars that everybody said wasn't going to work, mainly because of, like Colby said, Flunderies. Soul Sword, they are buying them, putting them into these decks, doing all sorts of combinations. I'm telling you, I haven't seen this since like in the synchro going into XC, and I love it. The market is booming. Even though it's supposed to have been a crash market, it's actually going back up. That's great. I love to see it. I'm not, I, you know, what's funny is I, um, I almost, bit the bullet and started buying cards again especially when i saw the the sword souls 
And Colby was telling me about how they, they go well with virtual world. And I have a, a core of virtual world. I was really excited. I almost did it. And I saw one of the one of the main cards. I think it's going for about 60 or $70 each right now. And then I looked at it. I said, yeah, Master Duel. I'm not doing it. I'm not biting. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad to see that you're making your money, though, right now. That's good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what I, I know that Sword Soul is is pretty good, um, like meta changing, right? I mean that that's considered that's going to be a, if not already a solid meta deck. I know Flunderese, which I personally can't stand. I know we've discussed that. I hate the artwork. I don't like Wing Beasts except for Harvey's. And all the hype and the name just get on my nerves. Call me what you want. Don't care. Don't like them. All right, but hear me out. Let them have their run. I mean, look at the format as is. Yeah. Don't we need some new blood in the format? Mm -hmm. Always. I mean, we all can't sit here and hope for certain other decks to come back from the dead. Now, can we? It happens sometimes. I know. You know, it sometimes. Not all the time. Sometimes, yes. And sometimes some of those cards do come back and it's for good. Yeah. It helps the meta. Or they can be like a certain deck that refuses to die. I see you over there, Black Wings. <laughs> but it's like, we don't need any more of you. Let the ear heroes come back. We don't need any more of um, 6 Sam support. Let something else come back. And for the love of all that is holy in the market, can we stop getting support for Dark Magician oh. and Blue Eyes when there's so much other stuff from the past that can come back? I mean, let's get some more Bandit Keeps cards. Let's get some, I don't know, let's get some Tristan support. I mean, we didn't see his full deck. We can go with that. Or yeah. I'll throw it out there. I'm glad to see Mako Tsunami's getting more love. I was always a fan of Mako. I, I like the uh, the legendary fisherman. I always hoped, even back then, back in the day, that that would have been a viable deck, especially with the the, the uh, Umi and you know where you couldn't attack and whatnot. But I think it was you could attack directly or. What. I remember what it was a long time ago, but I always hoped that it would flourish into something, and it never did. So that would be kind of cool if that card could either get uh, like a, a different an upgrade, you know, the ultimate legendary fisherman with the new effect, something that that can compete in the game, even a, maybe just a rogue or casual. That would be fun to me. Yeah, it has some cards that are out now, but I'm yeah. like. If they put some of the time and effort like they did with Blue Eyes and Dark Magician, we'd have some. I mean, Yugi and Kaido, okay, they're the originals. They're the OGs. Yeah. But at a certain time, like a certain point in time, what about Zane Truesdale and all these others? I mean, you say Fudo could use some more support. And yes, I know some of their cards came out now recently. But every year we get something for Yugi and Kaiba. It's like, guys, you're cool. We get it. Let somebody else get some stuff. I mean, I'd like to see Horus of the Black Flame to get some more support. That would be cool. Volcano. Volcano. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, come on. Come on. Just let them have one card. Just, just one. Well, you know, there there are a lot of uh, a lot of different um, uh, archetypes that could get the, that could benefit from some type of new support, and I think the fact that there's so many of them, you know, like just don't give it to a bad one, one that's just hopeless. You know what I mean? And I, I know that we have Mayakashi on the way. Ah. Uh, uh, my Akashi's not terrible. It's fun, but it's so fragile when it comes to hand traps. But that trap, that new trap, and we can talk about this another time, 
is causing everybody to start buying out all the Mayakashi cards. So, you know, that that's natural. That's going to happen. I think there's even some Dream Mirror on the way, which, cool, I'm a fan of Dream Mirror. But, like you said, there are other decks that could probably benefit from some additional support. I don't know. I mean, it's not like we're sitting here wishing that the Sacred Beast got something else now, do, do we? <laughs> I'm trying to okay, find hey, That was one structure deck <laughs> that we do not speak of. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm not saying it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not participating. <laughs> Oh, All right, man. I'll throw out the one elephant in the room. Let's throw out the elephant in the room. Hey, um, El Toro, there's one other deck that could use some support. It starts with an S, and Colby keeps talking about them. Six Samurai. Yeah. Six Samurai. Gotcha. <laughs> Sorry, Colby. Gotcha. We we're sorry, Colby. Yes, we know. Salad, Salomon Great. Um, I think. Uh, what do you think about it? The Salomon Great with a Synchro Monster would be interesting if they did something like that. Or do they have why one already? Be that, why, why would we do anything that cool? Yeah. I like I like playing the game. That's <laughs> like saying that's like saying War Rocks get an X Y Z monster. Even I don't want that. If, and if I'm they, still War Rocks for life. If they did it right, I mean, I, I would take any kind of support. You know, I'm a zombie guy, and I think that one of the newest Synchro Monsters that just came out, uh, I've seen some hype going around that it's actually good in zombies. Um, we'll talk about that next week. I'll do some more research. I am out of the loop, in case you all can't see. I'm like, I've had way too much sun the last couple of weeks. I've had to, uh, in addition to the busy career, busy personal life, I've had to do, uh, I've had to referee my kids' games. <laughs> so, I had to referee the market. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, but I've, I've, I'm not used to being out in the heat, running back and forth, blowing a whistle, you know, arguing and listening to parents curse at me and having their, their kids, their players talking smack and, Oh, what a mess! So, but it it was fun. But yeah, so I'm, uh, that's why I also had didn't uh, didn't shave too much here. So I got the old man uh, fuzz going right now. But at least it's clean. See? I shaved Tuesday. Looking good though. I like that. That's a good look for you. That's a good look for you. So, so the market's going crazy. We know that it's going to get crazier. It's a good thing, as you said, though. I like balance. I like when more players come into the game, the meta. You know, when I talk about players, I mean decks, when more decks are available to our player base to actually go in there and compete. Me, I'm a rogue player, casual, mystic mind, whatever you want to call me. But when Master Duel comes out, yeah, I'm going to do what I can to build some meta decks here and there and, and see see how uh, how well I can do with them. So before we jump into our next topic, I wanted to give a special shout out to Fusion YGO, who actually had me on his podcast along with his uh, co host. Um, he goes by the, the Harv Scrap Man. I hope I pronounced that right on Twitter. Has his own channel as well. But man, what an awesome experience. That, that was a lot of fun. We spent probably a little over an hour just talking about bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff and success so man Fusion YGO Scrap Man thank you both so much I highly recommend their channel especially if you're a new player there's a lot of different things that go on there and uh, like myself he's started at the beginning of Yu-Gi-Oh here in the United States and is just has so much to offer in terms of knowledge and support so definitely go check him out check out his channel find him listen to the podcast and uh, so if you're out, you know, anybody out there, go check them out. Fusion YGO. Now, I all this hype has got me all crazy, man. Master Duel is, is right around the corner, and I'm just. What? 
Yeah, I don't know. Is Master Duel even coming out still? Is it? I haven't heard anything about it in a while. I feel like we all just got drunk or high or hopped <laughs> up on sweets. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! We're getting this game. We can do tournaments online. And all of a sudden, it's like we woke up, had the hangover, rolled over out of bed, hit the alarm clock, and went. What? They're still here. Yeah, there's still some I, hype. I you see can, uh, can go home? <laughs> a few people on Twitter asking about it too. A few, uh, quite a few people that I follow saying, "What you know? What's going on with Master Duel? Where is it? Where? What's going on with Master Duel? Any any news?" And I know it was originally announced for December of this year, which is only a few weeks away, but. Man, the last time we had any kind of update, it, it's it's been a while. And even at that, it was just showing us how synchro, you know, synchro summons, pendulum summons, which were cool videos. But that hype dies after about a day. <laughs> I was like, yeah. The last, the last time I heard anything about Master Duel was about a week ago. <laughs> oh, you did? What did I miss? <laughs> what did I miss? That was it. Oh. That you could basically, I think they said you can buy your little minion thing. And I'm like, there we go. Again. Yep. So yeah. that's confirmed. And you should be able to play against people on different things, I guess. I guess they're saying that we're cross play. So if I want to play against somebody that's on like a computer mm -hmm. and I can. Oh, to goodness, I play against another War Rock player. <laughs> hey, I will create a War Rock deck and, and we'll do a mirror match or as close as we can get with whatever, you know, whatever cards we're able to do. I'm happy to do that, man. Because like I said, I'm up. If and when the game is released, I will spend a lot of time on there. And I'll be doing some content as well. I'm sure everybody else will. You know, we've, we've talked about it uh, over and over and over again about it. And you have one side that says oh it's a you know monetary whatever they're gonna charge us too much and this and that we're gonna have to pay it's like yeah well you gotta pay for cards anyway and then you have the argument of well at least you have physical cards. save it save it i'm gonna be one of the people who's gonna buy it i'm gonna play it yes i'll spend money on virtual packs i don't care i've spent more money i'm worse crap than that at least i'll be having fun so, and then you're gonna have the one, the other ones that that they're so against it right now. But then when it does release, they're gonna they're, that itch is gonna need to be scratched, and they're gonna play it. They're gonna have fun, and they'll make it part of their content as well. Bam. Yeah, I already right know it'll be a. Hey, I don't like this. It it doesn't take precedent over actually playing the physical game. Next thing you know, one week later. <laughs> Hi everyone. I'm online, and I'm going to show you how to become a Master Duels and Master Duels. Don't forget yep. to like, share, and subscribe. And yep. I'll be like this. Didn't you just say in your last <laughs> video how much you didn't like this? And it was from Monami. Go home. Yep. Oh, wait, you're already at home. Go to the library. Read a book. Yep, we'll be get, we'll be seeing all those uh, Twitch uh, live streams all over Twitter and Instagram and everywhere else, you know. Come, come hang out with me as I uh, live stream Master Duel. Yeah, Master maybe Pool. we should do a. Maybe we should do something like that. We'll figure out a way to get all of us together and do some some live stream dueling. I think that would be fun. Oh Lord, live stream us all playing like a tournament. <laughs> That'd be cool. Yeah, you guys can all see the downfall of Salomon Great to Mystic Mine. It'll be fun. Yeah. And you can see all my joke decks like Dummy Grenade. Hey. I like Dummy Grenade. <laughs> that was fun. So I know some of you follow us pretty regularly and we appreciate it. If you get to see Dummy Grenade, I think a lot of you would like it. It's fun. It's a little bit different and it's pretty effective. I was impressed. So. You choose the outcome of the deck by how you play. <laughs> yeah, it's like you burn, I burn, we burn. <laughs> Stop blowing up the back row. Yeah, that too. That too, don't. So I won't say anything. So, 
but yeah, I think we, we can definitely do that. Uh, but yeah, Master Duel for for all its what we know about it, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Crossplay is good. That way, you know, I can. I, maybe I'll just I'll have to buy it. Maybe on one of my consoles or something like that. Um, mm-hmm. instead of my phone, that way at least it'll be easier to see. Cause yeah, it'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. So if any of you out there are planning on playing Master Duel, you've got a friend in me. Let's play. So, all right. So it looks like Colby will be on soon. So mm-hmm. let's jump into uh, Burst of Destiny. So. Let's change it up a little bit here. So enough on Master Duel. All right. That dude, Colby, is here, but he's not here. Joker, what's going on in the video game world, man? Guys, this is not a drill. And I'm actually overhyped for this, so you know it's important. Wolfenstein is coming out with a new game between 2022 and 2023. It's going to be the third and final installment, and it's canon, and we're finally getting what we've always wanted in the Wolfenstein game series. We're getting Mecha Hitler. Yes, this is not a drill. We're finally getting the ultimate boss in the Wolfenstein series. What? If you have ever played Wolfenstein, you knew that they hinted in almost every game that there was going to be Mecha Hitler, either through Himmler's notes Depth's Head's notes, or even Helga's portfolio. You saw it. It was there. Now, after seeing all the other Wolfenstein games, they have confirmed we are getting one more Wolfenstein game. And this time, we are getting the boss that we've truly been waiting to crush one more time. Nostalgia be bound. We're getting it. That is you all. Mm Mm-hmm. There you go. That is I how will you see end. you all there. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. Thanks for that update. That's pretty awesome. So, oh yeah, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. <laughs> <laughs> I remember playing the original a long time ago, and it was, it was it was kind of a freaky game even back then. A lot of jump scares and uh, I know, right? I, cool. Yeah, I've seen I've seen clips. I never played a Wolfenstein game. Oh, you would love it, especially when you get the hatchet and um new Colossus. I, I just pref- I prefer I prefer games like Borderlands and uh, Skyrim, Fallout, etc. Good. Game. Oh, then you'll definitely love Wolfenstein. Yeah. New is it, Order is, it is like right a, up your alley. It, I, well, I like it because I can continue the game despite story mode being finished. I, I don't I don't know if Wolfenstein's one of those games. New Colossus, you can actually finish the game and then you can go to like other places to like find and kill off the rest of the regime. Okay. People, are you tired of not finding those cars that you've been looking for online? Are you sick of those overwhelming prices on eBay? Are you looking to complete that deck that you just got on the budget? Well, why don't you shop down the Shadow Hunt Joker? also known as Shadowhunt Cardian on TCG Player. Now, what are we doing right now? We're fixing up the format in our inventory and getting ready to launch some of our very impressive cards that are hard to find or just that little special something for your collection. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, I can go to this guy and get a percentage off. What if I told you, even though that the cards are on there as price, No matter what is said and done, any cards that you purchase from me is guaranteed to be custom tailored, shipped, and ready to go. As soon as you put in that order, there it goes out. And I make sure that it comes to you. If you have any issues, you let me know. And I'll be sure to go to the post office and be like, hey, I will send you to the Shadow Realm if these cards do not get there on time. So, come on down to Shadow Haunt Cardian and check out my wares. Who knows? Maybe you'll find that pot of green. Or maybe a salad. Mystic Mind? Oh my. Oh my. 
That was awesome. <laughs> All right, everybody. For those of you who are watching it or listening, doesn't matter. We are going to be implementing an additional ad. It's a non-sponsored ad, but it's going to be just like that what Joker just did. And so look for, you know, for visually, we're going to be, we've got some ideas rolling to do uh, our own little, uh, you know, to go along with Joker's voice narrating it. We're going to do some, some stuff in there. So yes, be ready for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. And and it is real. That was a real ad. So if you are looking for for, for good prices, a truly professional seller who packages everything well, is serious about shipping them out on time. Yes, my friend right here, his store. <laughs> buy from him. Don't mess around. Now. And let's send those other competitors to the shadow realm. Yes. Yes, yes. I, I speak as a buyer. I, I've purchased cards from Joker, and uh, I gotta say, top top notch, man, top notch. You know, the prices are amazing. Everything's packaged extremely safe, and he doesn't mess around with shipping stuff out. He does. You don't get the, like on other TCG player sellers where you buy it, you get the email that says your card has been shipped, but then you get it like a week later. And it wasn't it's postmarked like five days out or whatever from when you bought it. So yeah. No or way. or or to add or to add on or like you know, not protected with the sleeve or a hardcover. Oh yeah. yeah. You guys remember my rant about the Muddy Mud Dragon? I get mm-hmm. it's a common. Yeah. I get that it's probably not gonna be sleeved up and everything like that, but it needs a hardcover. Yes. Yes. Sorry. Sorry for the on. It's all good. I had a busy day, so I get it. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're all a little bit beat I, up right now. I had a monster and a little bit of Red Bull, so I am I am willing to tempt anything. We we gotta corral you a little bit then. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Dude, it's, it's crazy for so for no of November. That's okay. We 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 understand retail. I think we've all worked retail. So glad you're here, uh, Colby. Yeah. Glad that you are here, my friend. Let's talk about First of destiny. Uterine. That's all I need. <laughs> I'm called really? uterine. It's like meow something or not. What, what the heck's the Yeah, I, I really, I, I hate meow king or whatever like that. I hate it. Muttering should have stayed. It, I agree. And it also should have been a Salomon Great card, but. <laughs> What's this attribute again? Earth. Salomon Great Meow. It really it, tell tell me if I'm wrong. It really was this close. All you need to do is get a little gasoline and just... so we're gonna burn mutering. Got it. Burn yeah, all I can do that. <clears throat> Have you looked at any of the Salomon Great art? This they're might so, shock you. They're so cheap. I was actually gonna. I was tempted to buy them all out just so you couldn't get any Colby. Scalper, scalper, scalper. <laughs> uh, anyways, I can go into Burst of Destiny if you would like. <laughs> so I think that also ties into one bit I was going to talk about. Yeah. Leave the charge. Go for All right. it. All so, right. So let's see. Burst of Destiny is probably one of the best sets we had ever since. Um, shoot, I could probably shoot back all the way to Rise of... What, what, is, what was it called? Rise of the Duelists? Mm-hmm. The one that had... Um, droplets yep. yep i think that was yeah only since then this is probably our next best set because um a metering which is really it's it's a good stable for cyber sex now as it probably even just in the side deck even just in case this my matchups so that takes out a rogue deck then we have the two new meta contenders we have flunders which is rogue tier one more uh, tier one actually and then we have the one meta changer, uh, Sword Soul. Yes, everyone, Sword Soul is better than Flunderies. What a shock. Yes, there have been people that argued Flunder was better. I can tell, I can see your look, Joker. Oh, no, I kept calling it Sword Soul. I mean, Soul Sword. So I'm like, oh, mm, I'm like an idiot. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Sword Soul. <laughs> expensive uh, sword if you want or if you want to go by the old name Zhang Jing or whatever it was called that would yeah, be cool Zhang Jing. 
I, on, I, could, that. I feel better I, with Shane and Shane. I, I could go either way with it. I don't like the the Flunderies change. I'm still going to call it Flunderies, but it's now called Flunderies or something like that. Flunderies? I yeah, I don't name. like it. The name changes were like... Uh, that. That's a side note, though. That's kind of the just thing you can drink. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the set is really good. Like, mm. it's a little absurd. We have it, it was two when Virtual came out because Virtual World when that came out, Drytron was somewhat nearby it. And as we may or may not know, those two are probably some of the best decks still currently out. Drytron doing Drytron things and Virtual uh, just making a complete lock over everything, which I might actually be able to improve on. By the way, I didn't tell you guys this yet. But here's the cool thing of why Sword Soul is kind of scary. <clears throat> what if I told you it benefits of virtual world as well? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> because you, you have you guys read the normal spell? Yes. But tell us the, about the, it. Sword Soul was very smart with its creation. You know, add one Sword Sword, uh, I think it was Sword Sword Monster. It may have been card, but I'm pretty sure it was monster. I need to look back at it again. I didn't pay attention to that part because I read the second part. Or if you control a synchro monster, add any one worm monster from deck to hand. Did I mention that virtual world is nothing but psychics and worms? Why would you do that? And here's the better portion. And let me make, I'm going to make sure that I'm not mistaken. This. I just got to look up one card. Mm -hmm. Come on. Uh, I know. Uh, I know. Lili is a worm. Okay, cool. So you know how Gigi, our level three dog, is probably our next out outside of Lulu and Lao Lao. Gigi is our best one because of the recurability. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's a worm. Why they do that? Why did they make? Yeah. Virtual Denel, World needed it, man. They needed the, the they that need, little comeback. They need oh they didn't need a comeback. They're still a tier one deck. Mm -hmm. Uh they you know, it just it just said, hey, virtual's not consistent enough. That's probably go. what I meant to say. <laughs> <laughs> what happened was my I don't know <laughs> this. But now we can just make one any one synchro monster. Doesn't need to be genetic, doesn't need to be specific. Any one synchro monster, slap it down, and now we can continue our combos. Or if we wanted to, and we have the extra extensions, which is what I'm currently working on, we can theoretically make the same board I showed my deck profile, but add a Baroness to Floor in there, because why not? Is that fair? No. Should I do it? Absolutely. I love the, I love the free Omni Negate to stop the one or two interruptions that could potentially break the board. <laughs> Flunderese, it's a very scary deck, but I think everyone really overhyped it. And I, I think the prices can show that. Mm -hmm. Joker, can you back me up on that? Yeah, it's literally overhyped. At yeah, it was a certain point, the core went from just being 85 to then 128 to then 222. And what I'm is like, it at now? I don't even want to look anymore. When I saw it at 222, I was just like, "Well, when I last, so when I last looked at it, it is now really, really cheap to get your hands on." And I think the re main reason people right. was like very hyped up about it is because of the counter trap and the other trap. Mm -hmm. The I forget the other trap, but it, it's an old trap that you can banish from the graveyard. Flip all face up attack position monsters from control into face down defense. And I get it's a great deck, but here's the cool thing if you can stop their one monster effect and destroy their spells and traps, what are they going to do? Same thing oh, no. we do every night, Pinky. Scoop. Yeah. Fair Essentially, enough. and you can even look at the next rogue decks, and even you, you can see that rogue decks are going to have an easy time steamrolling right past virtual. Not virtual world, oh lord. Steamrolling right past Splendor Ease. Salmon Great can go into Tapir, which completely stops them entirely. Sky Striker just memes on it because their trap card and monster, which changes the uh, position of their monsters to face down. Ray can just quick effect into a Link monster, and you can't flip those face down. Uh, Ignisters, I mean, you just drop a 4k arrival. That's all you do. Just drop a 4k arrival. 
watch them struggle. It's funny. And I can tell you from experience, it's really funny. I like it. I like it. I want to make people who run that deck struggle, and I want to make them angry. And for those wanna... who are running it, have fun. Enjoy it. By any means. By all means, have fun. <laughs> but I tell you what, uh, Miss when Master Duel comes out, I'm coming for you guys. I want to, to feel pain. I don't like the deck. We talked about it earlier. I hate the cards. Yeah. I don't like the name. Uh, Be nice! It's almost Thanksgiving! We all this, need some oh, yeah. rotisserie birds. Yeah, you bunch of turkeys <laughs> taking you down. <laughs> Doral, you'll like this one. Yes. Can you guys still hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Mystic completely stops them as well because they don't have any inherent spell and trap removal, so they have to kind of side that in. And uh, <laughs> yeah. And one other big weakness of them, <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure everyone knows this, but for those who don't know, you know you can't run Kaiju, Spear Mode, or Lava Golem within the deck. So you can even theoretically drop a Geomathnic Final Sigma, and they'll still suffer. Unless they have a form, a way to increase their increase their monster's attack, which again, Final Sigma can just put on Billion Blade and call it a day. Um, you can't really get past that. Their highest attack is 2,900 off of their one monster that lets you normal summon three times. And then after that, it's just um, that the one spell on Trap Searcher, which I know they're getting support to increase. No, it doesn't increase attack. It just makes them gain 500 life points. So, um, But it does let them search for a field spell. And one last thing. For those wondering why, you, the, you're probably thinking, oh, you can get past unaffected monsters. Just run the one spell card that lets you use your opponent's monsters, uh, opponent's cards as material for tribute summons. Uh, that is a spell effect. It's not like um, Monarch Stormforth. Monarch Stormforth, it's a spell to use, and it gives you the effect to do that, but it's not the spell's effect that's affecting it. In Flunderee's case, their continuous spell is that is an effect that's causing it to... Um, give you the ability and it kind of i know i worded it really weird but just essentially it's not the same as stormforth stormforth can let you tribute own effective monsters flunder's continuous spell does not so i guess if they want to do it just run stormforth but not many of those decks are doing that no i want to why do that cry uh final sigma mystic mind arrival <laughs> Tapier, spell and trap removal. <laughs> Any one monster negate. Question: Can they gain attack boost during the battle phase? Uh, which one? Blunders? Yes. W- with the current support, no. The closest they got is their one, uh, their one other high level monster, which. They can ditch <laughs> another flunder, and they cut your monster's attack in half, and that's it. Everybody, drop the volume down. War rocks. <laughs> War rocks for life. <laughs> and I would say, I would say, in terms of it for generic use, I don't think there's too much generic use within Burst Destiny, unless you want to count Mutering for the field spell portion of it, which, again, is really only going to be used to stop Mystic Mind. But, I mean, if you're running spell and trap removal, it's kind of the same thing, so I guess it's more lenient for just Cyber's players, because sign up mining and search it. But in terms of meta relevance, oh boy. <laughs> there are two big threats. Sword Soul being the main one. And Sword Soul is a fun deck, I will say. I want to make it, but I'm not going to pay for that. No, no, no. Dude, that is too expensive. Did I mention it's... um To those who thought Flunders was high-priced... Oh, boy. <laughs> Do I have some news? It's insane. It really is. Oh, my. Do I understand it? Yeah, I get why. It is... It's, it's, it's similar to Virtual World, where it came in and dominated everything. And the fact that, unlike Virtual World, they actually have high-rarity cards... <laughs> That's true. Back then, Virtual World only had what was at the time Lulu, yeah. and that was like a twenty dollars. That was the twenty dollars card, and that was it. Ultra rare too. Right? Yeah, yeah. The, ultra rare. The secret rare was like nine. 
Shen Shen. Yeah, Shen Shen was nine dollars. And I I got mine at five. Yeah. But no, everyone everyone really hyped up Virtual World. There was not a lot of hype for Sword Soul. Don't worry, there's a few expensive ones, such as their Mo Yi, the one that when you normal summon you get the token if you can if you reveal a worm or sword soul. Mm-hmm. Being at just a just a low cost of sixty dollars per card. Ooh, mm. Yeah, no no no. Uh I see the no. starlights. I can understand the starlight cost because starlight is a starlight. It's gonna be expensive regardless. Yeah, it yeah, should be. It's yeah, it's been you 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 had a star it was like what six hundred dollars? Yeah, Ecclesia. Uh uh-huh. yep. Yeah, no. And then, I guess there was. God, what am I thinking of? Oh, that's right. The one card that Flunders really increased. Mm-hmm. And I showed you guys this. You remember the Monarch? Oh uh, yeah, you rock? did show us that one. Yeah. So, I I'm gonna see what if I can pull it up hell, on right? screen right now. <laughs> yeah. So, to give context, when I bought the Monarch, it was five. No, five six dollars. Some of them were running up to seven. Here it is. I got the, yeah, I got the 2015 Megaton one. I'm gonna try and show it on screen for everyone to see because this is a little absurd. How much are those monarchs running now? I know, just uh, let's see we'll This nope, it is 53.99. Close enough. That is, yeah, that is on the lower end. People are running it for sixty dollars plus. I'm sitting here like, why the? Like, I get it. It's a great card, especially in Flunders. But it's becoming more expensive than the Flunder cards. <laughs> I got that card back when it was three dollars a pop, and I'm looking oh, at it now that... like that yeah. is why I do not get rid of anything ever, unless I have zero use for it, like Salomon Grates. <laughs> hey. No, no, all, all jokes aside, I did give my Salomon great that I had to um, Unfound Prodigy. I gave him a lot. I had three opened uh, structures. Yeah. But decks like that, but I, I rarely get rid of anything because you never know when it, you can go back to it and use it or or you go, oh, wow, this card shot up in value. Let me quadruple sleeve it and encase it and you know protect it. Yep. Yeah, that's... See, yeah. My last point... It, how much? So when I was saying it's more expensive than the Flunderbeast cards, I'm not wrong. Uh, M Pen, and yeah, M Pen is currently how I'm seeing it the most expensive. I don't see the other ones, so that might be. Oh yeah, no, it's it's M Pen. I'm not counting the Starlights. Uh, M Pen is only twenty dollars for one Ready Rose Dragon. Hey. Uh. Yeah, that is my note on everything. Well, Verse of Destiny, very cool set. A lot it of is. exciting stuff in there. For those of you that are driving up the market, good for you. Make your money. For those of you who are overpaying, what is wrong with you? Joker. You need that? help. How's that bruh. line go? <laughs> you need help, bro. You need help, bro. <laughs> you need help. Yeah. Am I like. There's no, no scalpers this time, right? No scalpers? Uh, I don't think so, which is kind of shocking. Granted, okay. it is, it's still not technically out yet, I don't think. When was it supposed to come out? Or oh, it's all pre-sale still? I, I'm out of the loop kind of right now. I need us to get back into I it. I think i just been at work, so I'm... <laughs> I thought it comes out Listen. next week. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, to every... Shout out to anybody who's in retail. We'll get through. <laughs> yeah, we will. Yeah. Uh, season coming soon. Yeah, I, I see everybody opening and pulling all these starlights and everything yeah. right now. So those must be what early? Early. Boxes? Let me see. It says oh, Konami no. Terminant League launch date eleven oh five. So I got. I think it's already out then because okay. it's thirteen. <laughs> yeah, hmm. that makes sense. And I think. Granted, we were going to talk about this last week, but we got swamped. So I'm pretty sure that's why we've been out of loop of things. Yeah. And that, that partially is my fault. Sorry, guys. Uh, you're fine. Well, Burst of Destiny, everybody have fun. Enjoy your Burst of Destiny. 
Mutering sucks. I'm getting mutering. <laughs> you you already me? knew. You you. I'm not looking at you. On my side, okay. I'm looking at Thor. <laughs> okay. He already knew what I was going to say. <laughs> I will say this if I, I'm hoping sword soul prices go down because I really want to make the deck <laughs> they probably it's, will I just don't think they'll go down that much I mean take a look it's, yeah, it's, cross it's out not going to be like major. yeah it's not going to be like <laughs> virtual it's not going to be like virtual world where it went virtual world at one point hit like 40 on Lulu and then it went back down to the stable 20 yeah. If we're lucky, I think the Mo Yi, which is the normal summon, the, the important one, basically, yeah. that one will drop down to 40. Granted, the important one's the level six because it's a one card Baroness. Yeah. It'll be interesting. It really will. Thank you for that. Let's wrap this up with El Dorado. Joker. Yay or nay on this from what I, we've seen? I got I to gotta grab something. It's a yay. It's got everything. People already said if they could pre-order this like a case, they would pre-order it times five. Oh. It's got everything that everybody's been looking for. This mm-hmm. is literally the gold of gold series. Not even since we had... Dark Arm Dragon and Crush Guard Virus has anyone's been this overly hyped for a gold series. And I know I'm saying the exact same cliche lines as everybody else has said, but seriously, look at what's in it. Chamber. IP Master Arena, I think, is in this one. Mystic it's, Mine. It, it's the alt art. Another myth. Oh, yeah. Mystic Mine. <laughs> Chimera. You know who you know who else is in there? Who's that? You guys happy now? Oh, that's right. Access, Access code, talker. code talker. Yeah. And it's still for whatever reason $150. It's trying to catch them Pokemon. Yeah. Yep. A lot of good stuff product. in there. A lot of good there, reprints. It made the tins look horrible. And that's really saying something. You know, but there's something to be said about that. The tins have well, let's, um, let's just start off with cross out because that's the first thing that immediately comes to mind yeah cross out and it's short print bs yeah yeah know. i it, sold mine when it was 70 it's now what 50, 50 35 you can get them 35 40 maybe? yeah uh, let's put it this way the, the tins had cross out talents zeus and i want to say alpha did it have alpha or am I thinking of a different? If, if you can pull it, technically, yes, they contained it. I think it did, but not everybody. It did. Unless you're on Twitter and everybody pulled it on their first pack and bullshit and whatever. Is that really all the tens have? Oh, they had the they had the Ignister re- reprints, which, I mean, for just because I play Ignisters, that's great because yeah. it lets people into add Ignisters. That's that's cool. Again, if you could pull it. That, that's I don't think thing. it had Dogmatica. They did have Dogmatica. That was cool. Now, one of the things that I think they really missed the boat on with with Maximum Gold is Salomon Great. How come there has not been any Salomon Great Gold prints yet? Wasn't there a couple of ghosts from the past? But that's irrelevant. Because yeah. it should have been a gold. Yeah, it was like two. Okay. But seriously, it should have been a gold print for them. Yeah, but Ghost, Ghost hey. was what? Ultra rares, right? Yeah. So even though it got like maybe a reprint or two there, it yeah. definitely should have gotten something in gold. Something. Or even in the tins, like the, the prismatic secret rare. I mean. The, the closest that we got to a, a, a prismatic secret rare in the tins was Exceed. And I still yeah. have to upgrade my Exceed, but I'm putting it this way, and I just I think this is what's happening. You guys can already take a look into the meta nowadays. People are now focusing more on fusions and synchros. Yeah. Instead of it having been the old format where we are focusing on pure links, we're now going to synchro fusion. So I think Salmarit's kind of forgotten, especially as an anime archetype. Because I mean, think of it this way: it took us this long for Marenses to get support. 
I think Salomon Grace now hit the point where it's kind of forgotten. And that's really saying something. We did get Burning Draw, but who's running Burning Draw in Salomon Grace? Who's running Burning Draw at all? Yeah, Burning Draw. Cool looking card. It is a very good looking card, but. Yeah. Uh, I'm no. just saying they missed the boat. I think it would have been cool for all the salad players out there to have some maximum gold you know the gold prints for that would be nice i mean hell mystic mine got it <laughs> why not I, salad I bust right? out laughing if max like the next maximum gold has a war rock gold foil and not a salad <laughs> i would be like it, it didn't wow! even one year it didn't away even... <laughs> like i would have been just happy if it would have been like something relatively nice like it, even if it was just like something like small as circle. Circle's one of our main cards, but as a gold rare, yeah, this would have looked really nice as a gold yeah, rare. Or um, what's that thing? Wolf. Wolf would have looked excellent as a gold. Oh, yeah. absolutely. But foul. You know, uh, <laughs> foul, maybe. I mean, foul is still a really good card. I still run two of it, yeah. and a lot as many people run like only one, which I understand. I love running two. I like it. I like it in my hand, but three is a brick, so two is just perfect. Yeah. All right, there you go, Konami. We need to make some some cool prismatic secret rare gold salad cards, or just get us some good support. Oh, or additional too. a synchro monster, a tune, you know, tuner, whatever you need, something like that. I will, dude. If we got a synchro, that'd be cool. But it would be. That's the only thing you're missing. Maybe a pendulum. Uh, yeah. pen- Salad pendulums would be kind of I'll never play it. <laughs> I don't think anybody else would either. You had to go that far, didn't you? I'm just throwing stuff out there. Listen, if you still play pendulums, you're playing du- Yu-Gi-Oh! wrong. That's a joke, obviously. Yeah, I like the sulfur cords <laughs> that, that I bought from Joker. They're sulfur not- cords, sulfur cords I don't play them. are okay. Endymion's relatively nice, but yeah. I, know, I feel like I think the majority of you know, players just don't like pendulum. <laughs> Electromite to one. That's what we need. I'm not a pendulum player either, so just saying. <laughs> I'm I'm speaking on behalf of the pendulum players. Electromite to one. Okay. Electromite to one. Electromite to one as a gold foil. Hey. No. Gold. So there's probably oh, yeah. people watching this going, oh man, I'm unfollowing you guys. <laughs> <laughs> one other I didn't thing say Colossus to one now, did I? Ooh. Losses won't be scary because of uh, all the fusion support. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got yeah. blunderies. <laughs> all right. Still be scary. Um, will... I forgot the... Go ahead, Colby. Um, Tins also gave all the virtual cards upgrades, mm-hmm. unless you're an extra deck, in which case you got a downgrade. Lulu Prismatic, Lao Lao Prismatic, GG right. Ultra, Lili Ultra. Uh, I think Nyan Yan's a Prismatic now. <laughs> I gotta upgrade those as two, but oh lord. Yeah, Shen Shen went down to super and I love I don't even know if it spells. I think Shen 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 Shen's art is so nice. All right, right. that's that's the last thing. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. That's okay. It's good stuff. So well, thank you guys. We appreciate it. Joker, thank you for hanging out. Colby, thanks for joining us a little bit later. We appreciate you getting on. Let's wrap it up. Joker, where can the viewers and listeners follow you, find you, interact with you? What you got going on? That's disgusting. No, that's a flundery. Um, <laughs> it's even worse. Burn it. No, it's at one, though. Um, you can find me at Shadowhunt Joker on Twitter and on YouTube. Well, now I'm doing some Destiny 2 videos on there, so you can see me going crazy in that game as well entertaining and yes that clutch video was awesome and you can also see me on instagram at silver eyed poet where i'm just trying to get my bearings have a little fun and you will not find me on that long f word or wait is it called meta now you will not find me there because i don't do meta sorry meta bad so Shadow on Joker. I play meta. Toro. At Twitter, YouTube, at Silver Eye Poet on Instagram. There you go. Colby. 
TDC underscore YGO on Instagram. Uh, and then on Team Fuerte's channel, you'll see me posting deck profiles for the latest one was Virtual World. Uh, feel free to come take a look at that and the test board, which very absurd, might I add. Yes, yes. When the only th- when the only thing that can stop me is an imperm, evenly matched or a kaiju, and nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> very nice. I'm never on I'm never on there and you'll never see me on there. Stay away from Twitter. So yes. all right. I well, you, P- PSA Twitter bad. Twit, you know, I've actually been spending more time on Twitter and I've actually been doing stuff on Twitter. I've been liking and retweeting and even commenting. And I even actually posted some video edits on there lately. So I'm, I'm having fun. I've gotten some good feedback. I may I may keep doing that every now and then. Don't I'm not gonna be a regular, I'm not gonna be dropping tweets regularly, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> You guys, if you're not watching the the uh, the YouTube, you're missing out on a lot of fun visuals. So I encourage you if you're if you're oh, listening yeah. in at some point, tune in, tune into the YouTube channel, Team Forte Gaming, check out the Undisputed Combo Podcast, Unfound Prodigy, casually side decking. Miss you guys tonight. Hope you're doing well, having fun, guys. Thanks once again, all of you. We appreciate you. We'll see you all next week.